first of all, find out what a millennial is before you start bashing them, okay? Because I got my friends who are 33, 34 years old being like, yeah, bro, these fucking millennials are pussies. I'm like, you're a millennial! <laughs> we were introduced to it like very slowly and responsibly. You know what I mean? It was a little bit here, a little bit there. Not all the way at once. You know, like, we were eight years old. We knew how to, like, code, like little fucking Zuckerbergs. We knew how to code in the back end of an AOL profile. We didn't just, like, choose the color black. We had to write hashtag F -f 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 to get black. Remember that shit? You had to know how to speak algorithm, okay? Eight years old, speaking algorithm. We knew how to, and then we go, we go back outside, have a normal childhood, but we know a little algorithm with us, you know? You grow up a little bit more, the internet evolved a little bit more, we grew up a little bit more. You'd stay up late where everybody else was sleeping in your house, you'd go down in the basement to where that one computer was. We only had one computer, remember that shit? <laughs> that one weird computer that just, the light was never off. <laughs> it was like mesmerizing, like what's going on on the computer downstairs? <laughs> 10 years old, you sneak into a chat room. You stay up late, everyone's sleeping, you're like, hey, Any other lesbians in this chat room tonight? <laughs> Just one horny lesbian <laughs> looking for another dirty 25-year-old lesbian to talk about <laughs> lesbian stuff. <laughs> I go to school the next day, my friend Joe's like, I talked to a lesbian for three <laughs> hours last night. I was like, me too. <laughs> me too, Joe. We were, re we were primed and ready. When Facebook came our way, we were, we, were, we were ready for this shit. We were responsible with this bomb. We knew how to handle this shit. You know what I mean? It's like we read the first nine books. We're ready for the 10th book. We know the rules of this universe. We know the characters. We know how to behave. You know, we knew what a poke on Facebook meant. <laughs> we knew it. We, nobody had to explain it to us. We just knew. Eric, you saw Stephanie poked you? Yeah, Stephanie wants some dick. That's what Stephanie wants. I know she poked me. We gotta fuck. That, that, those are the rules of a Facebook post. I don't make the rules, but I know the rules, right? <laughs> We're responsible with this shit. Your parents didn't read any of the first nine books. They don't know what the fuck's going on. Uh, on the 10th book, they kick the door and like, what is this, Facebooks? <laughs> this is Facebooks, right? Show me my old high school crush. I want to see if he's bald. Make me, make me a Facebooks. <laughs> How do I Facebooks? They're, they're, you know, they're, they're moving shit around. Nothing makes sense anymore. It was a cool place for a few years. It was like where we went to flirt, meet girls, meet guys, you know? And all of a sudden, it was like seeing your mom at the club. It's like, why the fuck is my mom on Facebook? <laughs> why is my mom on Facebook? So you shouldn't be here. This is world colliding. This is no good. It was where we did our thing. You weren't the same person on Facebook as you were at the fucking Thanksgiving dinner table. That wasn't you. You were fucking, you were just some alternate character of who you really want to be on Facebook, taking all cool pictures and shit like this. You know, that wasn't really you. Your parents shouldn't have seen that. It's, it's like seeing your parents, fuck, this is like, this is weird. This is not, you know what I mean? Like you used to log on to Facebook, it was exciting. You see that the notification, the five would light up. It's like, holy shit, what the fuck's behind that five? <laughs> You get butterfly. It was, it was, it was an exciting time. Was I tagged in a photo over the weekend? You know, did my crush accept my friend request? What the fuck's behind that five? <laughs> now one day you log in, it's like 99 plus. You're like, hmm, that's strange. <laughs> did I go viral? But no, your Aunt Louise wants to play Farmville because she, she doesn't have a job, I guess. <laughs> Don't you work, Louise. I can't send you money and be jeweled right now. <laughs> What did you do to this place? <laughs> Nothing made sense. You're getting poked by your grandma. Great grandma, now I gotta fuck you, you happy? <laughs> you think I wanna do this? Those are the rules of Facebook, now we gotta fuck, okay? I told you to read the manual, lady. Why are you here? No one, no one taught us that a wall post was a wall post and a status was a status. We just knew that shit. They were two very different things. 
a status is where all the horny girls my age in college would make like a, a rap lyric when they were going out curling their hair. Like, did you put the sexy rap lyric there? Yeah, put it on, I put it on, I put it on. <laughs> curling their hair, something about popping that pussy or something like that, right? <laughs> so all the guys your age would like the pussy status. <laughs> oh my God, he liked my status with holding in a box tonight. It was a way to like flirt. A status was like a basically like showing your eggs, bringing them to market, you know? <laughs> And then all of a sudden, on the pussy post, your aunt, your, your aunt Diane's like, happy birthday, Danielle. It's like, this doesn't, this doesn't go here. That's a wall post. This is pussy time, okay? Fuck. Get off Facebook. <laughs>